Welcome to the video. In this video, I will share how to run any PHP project using XAMPP server. In my previous video, I have already shared using WAMP server. So let's get started with the video. To run PHP project in XAMPP server, follow the steps. Firstly, let's download a project from GitHub. So I have already shared how to download project from GitHub. I will share the link in the description box. If you don't know how to download, check out the video link in the description box. So I have already downloaded the project. So first step is done. Second step is we need a server. So download server and install it. So second step, we need server. So let's quickly download and install the server. If you already have XAMPP server, then you can move to the third step. For now, I will download the XAMPP server. In the browser, type XAMPP server download. So you will find link scroll down and use this one sourceforge.net click on the download button it will be downloaded into 5 minutes Download is complete. Now click on folder icon to open it. Here is the software. Double click to install. Click on Yes option. Click OK. Click on Next option. Again Next. Next. Next option. And installation will start. Click on finish option. Installation is completed. Now open the XAMPP server. After opening you will find window. Click on the first option. Start the server then start MySQL server. So here is some problem. So there is some port problem. I will quickly fix out this problem. You can continue watching this video or you can you can skip to the further part if you want. As the SQL server is not getting started, I need to fix this.
in the C drive in XAM folder, in MySQL folder, copy the data folder and paste it. Rename the folder. Delete the four folders. Then next four folders and last three folders. Then go in the MySQL into backup folder. Click on the MySQL folder. So from MySQL backup folder, I will copy the folders in the data folder. So firstly, I deleted the folders and files. After that, uh, from MySQL backup, I copied the folder. After that, refresh and again start the server or restart your computer so the problem will be solved so i will restart my laptop now so as i said i have already downloaded the project php project from github i will unzip the project downloaded from github so i will copy it in xam folder which is present in C drive in HDocs. So in the folder, project folder, there is MySQL file, text file. So here is a database name and here is a table name. So we need to create database for this project, database and table. So the field name must be same as this database. So we'll create the same name, database, tables and fields. So after download and install of the server, you have to copy the project in proper location. In C drive, in XAM folder, in HDocs, I have copied a folder food review which I have downloaded from github. Fourth step is database, create database. So just we saw the database file in text format. So the same way we have to create the database, table and field names. So after restart, I will start the XAM server and MySQL server. So the problem is solved. So food review main folder is copied in the proper location. As you can see, XAMPP, HDocs, food review main. So this is my folder. In the browser type localhost, XAMPP is working properly. So I will type the folder name, localhost slash food review main folder name and enter. So this are my project files. I will run the main file. In the main menu, there are three options, home, 
review and recipe. This is the same project which, which I have earlier run using WAM server. So in home there are many recipe link. In give review option there is a form and in recipe there are recipe steps given plus video link is also given. Now let's open PHP my admin for database. Click on databases. In database type name and create fields ID, F name, email, phone review. Give type int, varchar, varchar, int and text. So I have created five fields with type. Database is created, table is created and five fields are created. So in the give review form, I will type name, email, phone number, review. And when I click on submit, it is submitted successfully. So all the steps are done carefully. So follow the steps to run PHP project on XAMPP server. You can also reset So here it shows your review. I hope all the steps are clear. Follow the steps properly. For any query, let me know in the comments box below. Do not forget to hit the red subscribe button, like and share this video. If you are new to the channel, also check the video of GitHub. I will give the link in the description box.